Let's find the surface area and volume of a trapezoidal prism. The base of this prism is a trapezoid and it's isosceles. Notice the two equal marks that identify the equal legs. Those are the legs. So I know that this length is equal to this length. In an isosceles trapezoid, we're able to use two heights to carve out a rectangle. And look at our lengths here. We have 53 and all the way across the other length, the other base, is 67. And so we'll subtract. We'll take 67 minus 53, which gives us 14. So I know that this length, because I carved out a rectangle because of the isosceles trapezoid, I can do that. This length is 53, and I have 14, a length of 14 left to split between the two equal pieces, which means this piece is 7 and this piece is 7. And notice 7 plus 7 is 14 plus 53 makes that 67. Now, look at back at the picture. Notice the leg I, I identified. They are telling us right here that the leg is 25. These are all 25. So that means on our picture of our base, we have a 25 and a 25, and this is our height. We can use Pythagorean theorem to find that. 7 squared plus 8 squared equals the hypotenuse 25 squared. 49 plus 8 squared is 625. 625 minus 49 gives us 576. So h squared is 576, which means h, the square root of 576, is 24. Now we know that this height is 24 and over here this height is 24 and that's the height of the trapezoid. Now I can find the area of that trapezoid because I'm going to need that for the surface area and volume both. The area of the trapezoid will equal it's the average of the two bases which are the parallel sides 53 plus 67 divided by 2. The average of the bases times the height, which is the distance between the bases, which we figured out with the Pythagorean theorem was 24. Let's simplify this. 53 plus 67 is 120. 120 divided by 2 is 60. And 60 times 24 is 1,440. And if we labeled it, it would have been centimeters squared. So this is just the area of that one trapezoid. Now we can use that to find the surface area and the volume, both. The surface area, or the area of all the faces, I'm going to call that the total area, has two trapezoids in it. So I'm going to put a 2 there, and it's 2 times 1,440. It has two trapezoids, and it has uh, a bunch of rectangles. Now, there is a formula, which I have not emphasized. It's the perimeter, the, the lateral area, that's all the rectangles, is the perimeter of the base times the height. You're welcome to use that but I'm just going to add up the individual rectangles. So let's look at this one in front. The one in front the, is 53 by 20. So I've got a 53 by 20 plus these on the side. There are two of them. So I'm going to have a two because there are two of them and they are 25 by 20 plus I've got the one behind the big one behind and it is 67 
across the top and the bottom, so the base is 67 times the height, which is right there, which is 20. This simplifies to 2,880 plus 1,060 plus 1,000 plus 1,340. We'll add all those together. And we get 6,280, and this is area, so it would be centimeters squared. The volume is just the area of the base times the height. Remember the base was the trapezoid. So the area of the base is 1,440 times the height. The height is the altitude of the prism. It's the distance between the trapezoids, which is right there. So 1,440 times 20 is 28,800. 28,800 centimeters cubed or cubic centimeters.